Hey guys, so if you are subscribed to me, if you've been subscribed to me for a while now, you probably know that I do a lot of wig videos. We have wigs from all these different companies, from all these places, from all these people. 19 wigs. Got two boxes. There's two in here, there's one in here. It is literally so perfect. I just made my own wig. Who am I? I love the fact that you can switch up your style without having to damage your hair or change something that you don't know if you want to change. There's lots of other reasons that people wear hair extensions and wigs and things like that. It's hard not to think about the person who is the one donating the, the hair, you know? Yesterday, I opened up YouTube and I was just, you know, scrolling, doing my thing, and I saw a video by Refinery29 that was titled, The Truth About Where Hair Extensions Come From. So, now Naturally, I was like, oh, I need to know. But, 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 I saw myself and I thought this is actually a solid opportunity to watch this with you guys. And me being someone that has like 30 wigs, I genuinely want to know where these wigs come from so that, you know, maybe I can be a little bit more appreciative because someone's giving up their hair and, you know, take it from me, when you cut your hair, sometimes you don't always feel the best about yourself. So, let's get into it. Let's watch this video. Me and you, we're in this together. This is a learning experience. And, um, let's find out where hair extensions come from. Ooh, we're in New York, yes. This is the hackle. Respect the hackle. <laughs> this is Mariah. She's a master wig maker whose skill and expertise has made her a celebrity favorite. This is what they do after they cut it off the ponytail to get that shorter hair out. She painstakingly Whoa. sews each wig by hand in a process that can take months to complete and costs as much as $15,000. That's true, it off. I know this. But Hollywood's best kept secret is far from new. Both black and Orthodox Jewish communities have openly worn hair for generations. But it's just now that the popularity has exploded into the mainstream. Oh, yeah. Celebrities oh, yeah. have opened up on social media about wearing human hair, revealing just how common wigs and extensions are on the red carpet and in everyday life. True, true. Extensions everyone have really them. pushed the hair Not trade everyone, up. Sorry. Not people a lot of people want them. things that are disposable. They just like want long hair today and that's that. Hair brokers have used any means necessary to get their hands on hair. In the 1800s, Peasant women in France were lured into being shorn like sheep. In the early what? 1900s, it was reported that hair sold in the States was coming from sewers and corpses in China. No, 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 no. Hair dealers no, no, were thought no. to be so shady, they were banned from Ellis Island. Controversy continued goosebumps. into the 21st century, as reported by CNN. She lost eight what? inches of hair. From the robber's perspective, it's quick and relatively easy money. One constant in all of this is that the hair trade sets up shop wherever women are the most disenfranchised. And the people who end up wearing the hair are often unaware of the journey it took to get to them. Yeah, true, I mean, most me. Most people do not know where their hair comes from, and I don't think they care. Rika Hales, the founder of a hair extension salon in Los Angeles, didn't particularly care either until she got scammed. What is that, is that burnt hair or is that plastic? That's plastic. Plastic mixed with what's known as fallen hair. It's the cheapest tier of human hair, collected from salon floors, hairbrushes, and drains. What? The hair is detangled, processed with chemicals, coated with silicone, and sometimes mixed with synthetic and animal hair. While okay for some uses, it's a less expensive version of a higher quality, more elusive hair. We're trying to be different than everybody else. Dan's mission is to make his company Remy New York, one of the first ethical and totally transparent companies on the market. Um, so if a girl were to come to you and want to cut her hair, but she has short hair, you would mm -hmm. still buy it? Of course, yeah. Okay. Um, we try not to, to uh, turn away anybody, just because everybody needs help. So this one mm -hmm. is gonna be one of our long ones. <gasps> oh my this God. one is pure virgin Remy. Um, you can oh my God. feel the softness of it. In my six oh, that girl is me. Industry, that girl is I me. I've never seen hair like this. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so long. This level of high quality wow. hair isn't something you can fake. And as soon as I saw Dan's hair, I knew he was doing something right. But he invited us out to see for ourselves. <laughs> Will you miss your long hair? 
nó, nó rất đẹp mới mượt, mượt coi như là <cười> mái tóc này là một lát nữa cắt đi là mình rất là buồn mà không biết mình nghĩ cái mái tóc ngắn mình như thế nào nữa tóc này á, là cũng nhiều người họ đến hỏi lắm rồi nhưng mà không bán à, trả rất là thấp because for the previous times they only uh, offer about two or three dollars two or three dollars and they're That's selling like to us for criminal. like a thousand dollars cái chỗ wow. này là đến uh, hỏi là trả giá cao cho nên đồng ý bán oh my god wow there are some scammers out there wow with women like tweet Behind many of these wigs and extensions is a woman making the tough choice to sell her hair to better her life. She's so sad, I could cry. Hair ...to avoid tangling and to keep it all in the same direction after it's been cut. what he's doing. He's making it so good for her. It looks beautiful. We, I think it looks beautiful. Oh, you look smiling. young and fresh and really pretty. Will you tell her that? <laughs> Dude, oh my yeah. god. How are you feeling? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Dan paid Tweet a little over $100. The money is Good. more than a month's worth of what? living expenses for her entire family. Enough to buy oh livestock that will bring a new income stream for years to come. Dan's rates are not only unheard of, they have the potential to change lives. It's a mission Dan's taking across the country. Oh my god, I love him! It could be more empowering than we ever thought possible. For the women who wear it, and those who use it to create businesses that enrich their communities, but also for the women who sell it to better their lives and the lives of their families. A fair trade, transparent supply chain can leave everyone better off. That is, if the industry allows it and the customers demand it. Oh my God. From the beginning of when I first started wearing wigs, the comments that really stuck with me was from people that said that I'm taking these wigs for granted in the sense of having these wigs for fun when there's people out there that feel like they need wigs not just for fun, but to make them feel beautiful. But now it goes far deeper than that because I always thought about the people wanting the wigs and not about the people that have to sell their hair to be able to live. I never minded wearing synthetic wigs and try on wigs that were not real human hair. And then the moment that I got my first real human hair wig, what ran through my head was, oh my God, whose was this? But for some reason, I came up with a scenario in my mind that the person that donated their hair, it was just like nothing to them. But now I, it goes so much deeper because it's still a symbol of beauty around the world when women have long hair and there are families out there that can't get by at all and these women feel like they need this long hair and now there's people scamming them and giving them a dollar or two dollars for their hair when that means so much more to them and I understand feeling ugly without having long hair. I guess at this point, the more the word gets out that there are some really shady companies doing this, then the more we can stop promoting those that go about getting the hair the wrong way. But guys, please take the time to watch the full video. And if you guys have any comments or advice or if you guys have found websites that you know are clean and good, make sure to comment them down below. And I'll see you guys next time.